So very warm uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, today's session will be about our postgraduate program that we offer in Lancaster University Management School called Masters in Management. So 2021, uh, so we will be welcoming uh, new students in 2021. My name is Radka Newton, I'm the program director and I'm just going to talk you through what the program is about but I also have some special guests here today and our main focus today will be really on uh, demonstrating how the program is connected to practice um, and the reason I chose this focus today is just to show you that even if you don't have any management or business background uh, you are very very welcome to join the program and you will be uh, able to uh, see different practice, meet different practitioners, uh, have a bit of a taste of company projects. So you will be able to explore what really business and management means before you future career. Myself, a business graduate. Uh, I'm only a recent business graduate and I started uh, my career as a language graduate so I studied languages and linguistics um, but I always was I've always been drawn to business and management and I did set up my own company when I was in my 20s uh, but I never had a formal business and management education until my 40s actually so um, hopefully that will also give you some encouragement uh, you know to join this program and we very much welcome this diverse academic background and we believe that uh, good managers you know don't always have to come from business and management background so we are definitely open for business on this program this program is managed by a fantastic team um, so i'm heading the team and i have lisa and kim who are uh, supporting the students and coordinating all the activities for the students and then we have martin and peter and we have martin here with us so it's that's fantastic and they focus on supporting our students in their planning for their future careers but also for their professional life so martin thank you very much for joining us today uh, so here we go you know i just wanted to share this with you uh, but i just have to make sure that i'm sharing uh, the sound as well so let me just set up because we always um, ask our students, you know, what does uh, management mean to you? What does the masters in management mean to you? So you will have a bit of a chance to see what our students think in one word. Radka, we can't see anything at the moment. I don't know if the. Okay. Sorry. That's a good point. That's a good point. So, see, this is the technical. Our technical challenges continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to worry. So, I'm going to come back to my presentation. So, you should be able to see now. Yeah. So, okay. So, here we go. So, th this is what has been prepared for you by our students, just to summarize what the MSc management means to them in one word. Thank you. Global, diversity, community, friendship, teamwork, support, professional, so I think if we were to ask the students uh, now, our students now who are with us this year, at the moment, they would probably all conclude it's quite intense. But I hope they also feel that sort of teamwork and community, even in this setting that we are now, um, so the program objectives, the, the main objectives of this Masters in Management program are really around stuff, you know, giving you a good knowledge in all the main areas of management. So 
this is a very broad program uh, and it touches off all the components of what we believe good managers should really understand. So you will come across, you know, economics, accounting, strategy, marketing. So all these various areas that we believe a good manager needs to have an awareness of. Uh, we also then believe that you need to have some sort of an integrated understanding so that you don't think that all these uh, sections of management or business exist in isolation. They all link together and we put a lot of em emphasis on um, giving some sense to students on how all these disciplines interact uh, with each other. And most importantly, we also really want to prepare you for careers in business and management and for really diverse careers. And, you know, at the moment there are even jobs being created that we've never known about before. So hopefully, you know, this whole overview uh, of all these disciplines will prepare you in a very sort of broad way so that you can then really choose something you are passionate about and you get a bit of a taster for everything to understand what you are maybe good at, what you really want to explore in the future. So the program is um, based around these sort of building blocks. So this is how I see the program. And we really put emphasis on developing um, future professional managers. And the first block is learning block. So it's the knowledge base that you will be exploring. And I've already touched upon it. So these are your modules, basically. You know, this is the knowledge that we will be uh, together discussing and exploring through different lenses of business and management. But most importantly as well, this uh, knowledge base is uh, complemented by this development and then success in the future. So we really want you as well to develop leadership skills and define your leadership style and really think about your emotional intelligence. Think about, you know, a, a manager is not just somebody who knows, who knows how to, but who also understands, uh, you know, their own uh, influence on people, but who understands how to work with people, how to adapt to different situations. So that leadership development is a, is a building block that we believe is very important that will ultimately take you forward to your success and uh, that is complemented by professional and career development. So a lot of emphasis on the program throughout the whole program is put on developing your professional skills so that you are able to uh, demonstrate how you can confidently uh, talk to professionals who join the program very regularly and also building your confidence for the future so that you can explore the careers that you are interested in. We also put a lot of emphasis on building sort of global commercial awareness and we really want you to uh, to benefit from the uh, program being very diverse internationally, being taught by very different um, academics from different parts of the world. So as you can hear from my accent, we are not all British, so we, we come from different international backgrounds as well. And the uh, foundation then of the program or the culmination rather the stuff the capstone project is your dissertation so at the end of the program you'll be able to do your own research project or you will be able to do a company project so i always think you know it's almost like a bit of a triangle where we have the career development the professional development and the leadership development so these are the pinnacles of the program and you have of course the subject knowledge and the practical application in the middle. So we are building on the subject knowledge, but we are equally considering, you know, how does it link to the profession? What kind of leadership style maybe you prefer? Understanding yourself from the point of emotional intelligence and then developing your career, which is on the top. So this is in a sort of very simple way, uh, the way we understand the program. The program consists of all these modules and hopefully you will have access to this presentation. So I don't want to go through all this in great detail, but basically uh, most of these modules are delivered in blocks. So we teach in two week blocks 
apart from uh, your professional and car career and leadership development and research methods and these two modules they run throughout the whole program all the other all the other modules come in blocks of two weeks uh, and this is really beneficial mainly for those students who come from non-management backgrounds so that you can really focus on just one subject at a time you get the full immersion in the one subject and when you finish that subject, you move on to another one. So you don't overlap with other subjects. So you can uh, put your full attention to one subject area. So now I really want to benefit from the fact that we have our guests here with me, our recent graduates, Stephanie and Christian, and we also have Martin here. And I just want to give you a bit of a taste about how uh, is the program connected to the real world? Uh, and this is really, really important to us because this really gives you uh, that sort of sense check, you know, so if you are studying marketing, uh, you may be exposed to some theories or some sort of frameworks and then we always uh, make the most um, or ma make a lot of effort into bringing the practical elements that you can really see. So what does it mean in business? What does it mean in the world of management? So we have Christian here. Uh, Christian, you are, are you here with us? Do you have your camera available as well? I, I do have, unfortunately, can't select any nice background, so um, you're stuck with my usual, <laughs> usual background, but I hope that's fine. That's excellent. Welcome. Thank you. Now we have Stephanie. Yes, Stephanie is with us. So Christian and Stephanie only have just uh, completed their degrees. Uh, they will be celebrating with us in a few weeks time. They have received their graduation certificate, so it's all fresh in their mind. And Martin here is with us from our careers team. So the first thing I would like to talk about is this sort of practice based teaching. And uh, I hope that uh, our recent graduates can support some maybe th this sort of idea with some examples. So what I mean is that obviously we do follow, uh, we follow textbooks, we follow different frameworks. So as I said, for example, if you study strategic management with me, we will be looking at different frameworks about how to approach strategy. We will be using reading from textbooks and different articles, but we will also be discussing different case studies. Uh, and also our students in this particular module, strategic management, had an opportunity to work as a team on a, a business case, on a case study, and they were assessed on presenting a sort of strategic options for the company. So maybe if I don't know if one of you, Stephanie or Christian, do you want to reflect on this of practice based teaching and learning and maybe some other examples from other modules that you remember? Yes, sure. Stephanie, I'm not sure. Uh, do you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. All right. Um, yeah, the, the one example that, that uh, directly pops into my head is the strategy subject we had with you, Radka. Um, we typically divided the day into two parts. Firstly or secondly, we did a theory part to learn about um, strategy theory, what's behind, what is strategy, how, how can it be understood or approached. And the other part of the day consisted of an application of this of the theories we had learned um, in a project we did um, and this is the sort of training or teaching that I found very useful and I found to to have a much uh, more sustainable impact um, in, in terms of I can still remember what we did and not just read um, read 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 a slide and, and don't don't apply it to, to something right so, so that's that's what I what I enjoyed really um, and there are also other examples. For example, we had project management. Uh, um, we had a big project there, but we also had smaller sessions in other subjects, in, in various subjects. Um, could be accounting. We had an accounting, for example. We didn't just do slides. We also had projects. We needed to analyze companies, or we needed to kind of uh, uh, approach it in a bit more practical way. We had one, two hours to 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 learn it ourselves, to get to, into groups enhance our understanding. So um, you always have this kind of mix of theory and, and practice uh, from what I've experienced in the program. 
And I, I think that, that that's a great approach because it, it just sticks in your head so much longer than just reading uh, read, reading theory. Yeah, I would definitely agree with Chris on this point that um, practice is a really big part in the um, program and also always nicely linked with the theory. So it really adds to the learning. And then we also, I still remember a project in, for example, entrepreneurship, where it was a similar approach of having some um, theory inputs and then actually applying it. And um, it really helped me not just to learn about the subject, but generally this is also great opportunities to connect with your student, uh, with your uh, peers, and also to improve your um, soft skills and the skills around because actually working on a project um, helps you to learn how to organize, how to communicate your ideas. So there's a lot more to it. Um, but then just another aspect that I always liked were the integrative sessions. So where we had people from um, the industry coming to um, give a talk, just some insights into their business and this is really valuable if you learn beforehand about um, theory and then you see, OK, and that's how they do it. So maybe you had it a bit different in your head and then you really uh, start to reflect uh, on what it is actually like in practice. So that was valuable. Yes, Martin, would you like to add anything? You've been now organizing these integrative sessions this term as well. So we've already had five this term. So uh, would you like to just add a little bit about the purpose of these sessions and maybe what they are bringing uh, currently uh, to the curriculum? Yeah, so first of all, thank you everybody for joining us today. Um, this is a really exciting programme and I think one of the key benefits of this programme is our um, alumni community which give back so much thank you today to Stephanie and Chris already doing so um, and they are a massive part of our alumni community but also our professional community um, because obviously we see a full 360 where students that begin on the program then become our employer um, connections and so yeah this term already we've had five fantastic sessions with professionals and entrepreneurs in residence from a real range of um, industries and roles and that's what makes this program really unique in that you've seen the list of the modules there it's very um, diverse and even in a matter such as finance for example there are so many different roles you can go into working in a, in a position that will use that knowledge it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to work in a bank so for example when we had our spotlight on finance integrative session we had entrepreneurs you know that had their own businesses in hospitality talking about how they use finance in their day-to-day -day working and then you know you can have even just this week we had um hr and um ob so organizational behavior and even there there are similarities in the way that these people work but the companies are very different and diverse roles and you know even for myself from a personal perspective it's so interesting to work in careers with this particular program because we have so many different opportunities available to you in fact it might even be um a challenge in that you know there's so much that you could do it's learning you know throughout the year about yourself and what you've enjoyed and what your passion and energy is and then utilizing all of the support that you get um your program i'm saying it as your program obviously you haven't necessarily taken the program yet but if you do decide to take the masters in management you would have um the support of myself all of the programs have career support here at lancaster but this particular program is globally ranked as you may already know from um doing your research into the program and what that means is that we invest even more career support into it and not only for during your time here but stephanie and christian you know they will benefit from that throughout their career so i'm still liaising daily with alumni from years ago that i worked with um, at that point about their current career progression um, you know looking at opportunities in other industries and it really is a really well connected alumni support system and many of these in, um, integrated sessions as well are a unique opportunity to even look at um, 
standing out from the crowd and making new business contacts that will be beneficial when it comes to applications. Um, I'm sorry, I'm talking quite a lot. I'm very, very um, excited about these sessions because they are very unique. But just last thing, lastly, I wanted to um, also add is that in addition to this, our alumni will connect you. You know, we do have lots of alumni that are happy to connect you with people within business that will be able to help you with your applications. And even this morning, I've just come from um, a virtual mock assessment centre with BAE Systems with one of our alumni who is now going to put one of the students in touch with somebody that is recruiting. So, yeah, it, there's a lot to take advantage um you know, with this program, certainly. Thank you, Martin. And you know, actually, the advantage of this sort of virtual world is that we have been able to bring more professionals this year, actually, to uh, our sessions. And throughout these integrative sessions, we are getting a lot of job offers from from our companies as well. So that's been a, a, a new bonus, I would say, this year. Uh, yeah. I would also like to just touch on quickly on uh, another aspect of the program and then we can maybe return to Martin just to talk a little bit about what this sort of career and uh, personal professional development looks like but I just want to benefit from having Stephanie here uh, who uh, I think Stephanie your company project was the, was the best one uh, I remember I think you've uh, received the best company project award is that right Yes, exactly. We were really happy to get that re reward. So Stephanie um, uh, decided to select for her dissertation part for the end a company project instead of, of a personal research project. And I just put, put some links there because this year we're very proud of our students who did company projects in this pandemic situation. And we have been picked up by uh, global media who really talked about, you know, the success of these uh, company projects of the students. So, Stephanie, how did it work from your point of view? Yeah, so that was kind of at the end of um, the whole year, the program. Um, we had the chance to actually not going back to the library, studying um, mainly with books, but also to actually work for a real company. So um, the university organized the contact and we were in a team of five people um, and it was um, like a SME company and then we were actually having um, meetings with them where they explained what they need and so we tried to really like in a consulting project try to figure out what we can do um, for them or it was a real consulting project and so we were then based on this information we could get um, developing a report and a solution and um, then after these um, months of or weeks of working together on it, we could then um, be proud to send them a report. And that was really valuable learning, especially seeing that, for example, if you have a, a case, um, you, you work on it differently because in, now we were confronted with the actual wishes of the company so what um, they needed and then we did some changes uh, depending on um, their new ideas and so it was a, a process and it was really valuable to go through this process. That's great thank you Stephanie so this was there was more than 30 students this year you know took this opportunity to get involved in the company projects and again you know it's really beneficial mainly for, uh, of course, for those students who've already experienced uh, something similar, but mainly for those maybe who don't have any work experience, because our program is open for st to students with, uh, without you know, work experience. But this is a really good opportunity to try what it's like, uh, see how the companies are evolving, and work in a team with your classmates that you can choose yourself. So you can choose the team and you can work together, support each other. And uh, I must say that this year, I think the company projects have uh, much higher marks, you know, better better achievements than the personal projects, because I suppose you supported each other and worked together. Uh, so it didn't feel so lonely, I suppose. Yes, I would absolutely agree to that. Even though we were 
working on it during um, lockdown time, so all the interaction was online. We still really felt um, supported. We had these regular meetings and um, also with the company. Somehow it's even sometimes easier to just set up a Zoom call than to arrange going to the location of the company for an official meeting. So I felt that we were actually really close, even though we were only connected um, virtually. And um, But it also another benefit of this was that we really learned how to work with different digital tools. And um, yeah, we're quite confident in working online now. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we had to adapt our practice. But you know, this program is is always connected with company projects in any situation we do provide company projects for students that you can really get this insight into the real world through a real practical um, uh, initiative now i would like to go, come back to martin and maybe uh, ask christian to comment on this so really that sort of career and personal and professional development is a big part of the program and it runs through the whole uh, the whole program so uh, from uh, from a sort of student point of view, I wonder whether Christian can uh, comment. You know, what is it like to sort of receive that uh, career support, and what does it look like really from the student point of view? Yes, of course. I'd I, um, I'd like to to comment on that. Um, the the thing with with the career support is that. Um, it's not just about um, improving a CV, which they also do or which they also support you with, but it's also about just having a conversation about where you want to go. And these kind of conversations you can have with with the career department, with Martin, with with, with Peter, uh, Peter uh, help you a lot to kind of reflect on, on, on your own, I don't know, on your own thoughts. It's always easier to to express your thoughts and to formulate it or phrase it into a sentence. It's easier to comprehend your own thoughts if you actually talk about them. Um, and if, in, in my in my part or for my part, it was um, extremely helpful because before or in, at the start of the program, I wasn't sure where I was going to go at all. Um, and after uh, many conversations with uh, with Martin uh, and, and also David, I think, who's now in, in a different role, um, I've just recognized that, um, yeah, I just had clearer thoughts and we were always supported to reflect on things more thoroughly than we did before. We had reflection sessions even um, to, to speak about our wishes, our goals for the future, what we imagine ourselves, um, yeah, what positions or what fields we imagine ourselves in. So there's a very wide area or, or field of support in that in that program for careers for professional and in general um, how to appear how to speak but also uh, on reflection and personal development so there is this supportive framework uh, there for you and if you ever need this or if you ever feel like you need to talk to someone then that's there to help you and for my part personally it helped me a lot uh, probably wouldn't be in, in the sector I'm in today if it weren't for the reflection sessions I had in the beginning of the program. And Thank Christian, you. don't Thank be you. shy. Um, you know, do tell everybody about your most recent uh, good yeah. news. I think. Yeah, I'm, I was very, very, uh, very happy to receive uh, an unlimited offer from Deutsche Bank in Frankfurt in their in their headquarter, yeah. most probably. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting I'm getting a call, but don't be disturbed by that. So I'm 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 getting a a contract by them, and I accept this contract. So next year I'll be starting at, at Deutsche Bank, um, and in Frankfurt, which I'm very happy about. Uh, it was just recent recent news. Um, so yeah, that that's the field I'm going in. It's finance and and banking. Um, yeah, and probably wouldn't have been without the career support here. Fantastic. Stephanie, what about you? How have you still benefited from this uh, professional development and the career guidance? Yeah, I think um, Chris already explained it really well. Um, I would agree that the really valuable thing about it is that just there is someone you are encouraged to turn to. So um, I think at many universities you have some sort of career um, responsibles, but here we have really dedicated um, 
people stuff for our program. And so um, we're encouraged to, from the start, just have conversations. And it doesn't always have to be that you go there with the specific idea saying, OK, I need um, a CV or a cover letter for this job application. It's more that you go there and it's a process um, throughout the whole program um, where yeah. you can go with your needs and um, yeah, reflect as well as um, sometimes it's just good to know that there is someone because of course it can be quite overwhelming um, to have the step from being a student to being a professional. Um, so even it's valuable still for me now knowing that um, there's someone um, that I can still um, turn to um, for my future plans. Yeah, it's really lovely to hear. Obviously, your feedback is really important and really valued. But I think also that, you know, we, there is some ownership there on the individual. You know, there are lots of resources available. I mean, you know, this year we were um, ranked by the FT globally as 16th in the world for careers, which is just obviously phenomenal um, as a program. But having said that, you know, you can we're only as good as our students and so it's really important that people that do join the program are willing and you know desire um to utilize all of these resources we have an online virtual tool that you can use which is basically a band of different resources that cover all sorts of career as you know aspects such as job search applications interview simulators uh, you know you name it it's a kind of a to z um guide of how to land a job or start up your own company having said that the human element is really there with this program in that we recognize that each and every student is different some people come to the program you know knowing or at least thinking that they know what they want to do and that's fine too because we have obviously the connections we can put you in touch with and for others it's more of a transformational year in that you can join and actually it's not until you take the program that you really start to explore um, your passions. And there is no right or wrong, um, you know, way to approach the program other than to just be, I, I tell this to everybody, just be a sponge and just absorb every bit of information, every connection, talk to people. Even if you think they may not be able to offer you a job in an industry you're interested in, it doesn't matter because, you know, in this, especially in this um, work environment now, it's just we're all so connected um, and there's so many opportunities available. And like Radka said before, there are jobs that haven't even been created yet. Um, and, you know, ask questions. And I think, yeah, I think we've been very lucky and fortunate um, as well that the students, you know, that we have had, uh, like yourselves, you know, have taken all of this on board. So yeah, it's a, it's a lovely job to have. I really enjoy working with our students and our alumni in this way. But, you know, as Stephanie said, we are always here. So I'm still here for our alumni um, throughout their journey. And I think in a sense, it, it, it's not handholding, but it does mean that you will always feel supported. And, you know, who knows where we'll be this time next year, but you know that you, regardless of whether it's in a bedroom, you know, in China, or whether it's, you know, I'm sure you'll all be on campus by that point, but wherever you are, you won't feel alone because there's always somebody on this program that will support you and wants the very best for you. Thank you so much, everybody. So it's, it's uh, I just really wanted to emphasize this aspect of the program, that it is very much, you know, the teaching and learning is very much connected to practice. But also, if you don't have that background in business and management, please don't worry about that. You can get a taster in different ways, understand what kind of jobs there are, what companies there are. And we have a lot of um, connection as well with our region here. So we have a big commitment to the local region. And we have big companies here like BAE Systems, and they were the first company this year who came uh, to our program. But we also have smaller companies like a company that Stephanie worked with Forsberg or Playdale so smaller companies that are always connected with our uh, school with the management school so there is a big variety of uh, companies there's I've just put this one company that we've started working with and they've now employed two of our students so it's a it's an SME circular one and they are providing uh, uh, COVID-19 testing service to companies 
and they have just uh, they employed one of our students in September and just recently employed another of our graduates now. So, you know, it, it could be a small company that you may consider, uh, you know, working in in the future or or a bigger corporate. So there is a big, big range and uh, Lancaster is located in a very exciting region from my point of view, where of course we have the benefit of Manchester, big city with companies like Kellogg's as well. So, you know, there are different um, opportunities for you that we have on the programme. So I think we've talked a lot uh, at you. So I'm just wondering whether there are any questions uh, about the structure of the programme or if you have any questions about the, the career support or anything that you would like to ask. Uh, 